Yo. We're moving on to the radial composite. And this converter essentially adds four subparameters to an object. Uh, well, to the color option, if you if you convert the color to the to the radial composite, you get luma saturation, U and alpha. So let's go ahead and take a look at that, shall we? So here's my object, and if I right click the color property here, click convert and go to radial composite. If I open it up, notice that there's an additional. We have two saturation here. I think this is a mistake. This is supposed to be alpha, but it's supposed to be luma saturation. U and alpha, okay? Because I mean, even if you change it, you'll see that it only, it changes the alpha. So this is supposed to be alpha. Um, so this is the main use for the radial composite. Um, and you can do this if you want to separate these values, just like in um, Krita or Photoshop, where you can control the, the U, the saturation and the, the alpha values. So you can go ahead and just type in different values and see what you get. If you have needs for this, this is the composite, or well, this is a converter to use, right? The radial composite. And uh, in short, that's basically what it does. Well, if you use it on a vector point, you will get two additional subparameters, which is the radius and the angle. Uh, so if I go here, right click, convert, and go to, well, let me click on here, go here, right click, convert, and go to radial composite we can see that we indeed have the radius and we have this right here, which is the Thea. I hardly use this, right? But all this does, it allows you to alter the object using these two values here. But I mainly use it on the, the color option here. So yeah, so that's it for this tutorial and I will see you in the next one. Yo.